I remember I was taking a shower and I started hearing people banging on my door. So I got out and I opened the door and no one was there. When I think about that time in my life, that whole three, four years was just like a volcano of weirdness. Psychosis is one of those general terms which really simply means the neural networks, the neural connections in the brain are not connecting the way they normally do. When someone is experiencing psychosis, they might hear voices that aren't there, they might see things that aren't there, they might begin to believe things are happening that aren't really happening. Psychosis is an indication that the normal information processing capacities of the brain are not working the way they normally do. So it started, I had kind of a rough teenage years. I had a lot of depression with a little bit of like a psychotic twinge to it, but no one really could put their finger on it. It just seemed like I was acting weird because I was majorly depressed. Uh, by the time I was 17, I was in rehab and that's when I first uh, experienced psychosis. It took two years to get the diagnosis of schizophrenia. It's devastating. You don't have your mind on your side to make sense out of this. Strengths Program is a first episode psychosis program where we primarily treat people who are experiencing psychosis. We're trying to work in a holistic care model. We follow coordinated specialty care, meaning we have multidisciplinary professionals that are collaborating to support the individual and in their recovery. We, we kind of look at a, a person from all these different angles and they have just a team of people to manage their symptoms and build resiliency to help them get back to, to accomplishing their goals, to get back to leading a fulfilling life. So things were not really going well at all. Um, I had been dating Nyla six months maybe, maybe a little more, and I was constantly running out of the house and we were like, we need to find me a doctor. Someone gave me Dr. Sophia Vinogradov's email and was like, this is a big wig doctor, but you can email her. And I go, you know, Nyla, should I do it? And you said yes. Mm -hmm. And what did you tell me to do? And we like drafted an email, you know, and we were like, all right, we gotta sell you a little. So he's making this documentary about living with schizophrenia and his life. So we sent like the trailer for it. Um, and we were really lucky that she responded like two days later or something and was like, hello, Ben. And she said, uh, uh, we can get you some help. There's the individual therapy, the family therapy. They meet with a psychiatrist overseen by Dr. Vinograda for medication. So I got my meds adjusted and Dr. Sophia Vinograda got it in one try. The best medicines ever. And I'm on a lower dose of everything. Dr. Sophia Vinogradov really helped me understand myself a little bit better, which is why I love the clinic's approach to how they diagnose people, which is just more like, not necessarily a diagnosis, but how does your brain work and how can we tailor this treatment to your brain? I would say Ben is an example of full recovery and our treatment program can take a little bit of credit for that, but I honestly think that most of the credit goes to Ben and the people who love him really boosted my confidence in how I'm able to handle. Even when symptoms do arise now, it's just a little less frightening, I guess, because I feel I have the tools. He just used his skills that he's developed to help get him through. So much has changed in like really positive ways. He has his first like full-time job and he's thriving. I feel lucky to work with Ben and Nyla. They are kind and generous, and playing a role in someone's recovery is something that I am so proud to be able to do. And to be able to see how people rise above it, move beyond it, turn it into a healing or learning experience is, again, very inspiring. <laughs>